Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lorenda. Thank you for stopping in. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. So today I thought that I would use some items in my craft stash and create this gorgeous vase. I really love how it came out. Super cute, super easy. And I just topped it with this eucalyptus that I had in my stash as well and came out super fun. So if you'd like to see how I made this face, just stay tuned. Thanks. All right, so to make this vase, first of all, when I went into my front entry, I thought, oh, I definitely need some greenery in here. And spring going into the summer, I thought eucalyptus. So I wanted something that would look nice with some eucalyptus. So of course, you know, the nautical rope and the jute twine is what came to mind. So first I took a piece of nautical rope and I untwisted it because you can get three very thin pieces of nautical rope out of the one thick piece. Well, you'll see, to be honest, with this face, I didn't like it with the thin and I ended up going back and adding the thick rope instead anyways. So I used two and a half things of the Dollar Tree nautical rope when really I could have used one and a half. Now this is optional, but so these are coasters. They're like this cork coaster that I got from Ikea. It's $1.99 for a pack of two. I had it in my stash. And I bought them actually with the thought of them looking really nice on the bottom of a vase. So I have this really pretty vase that kind of goes inward at the bottom from Dollar Tree. So I just put the cork coaster on the bottom of the vase. And then I'm going to go around it with my nautical rope. Now here's where I'm using the thinner pieces where I had, you know, twisted it apart. However, like I said, I ended up using the regular size rope just because the shape of this vase and with the cork on the bottom, I didn't think the thin really was um, kind of the look that I was hoping for. So I'm going to put all this thin on and then go back over it with the thick and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So I just took a piece of the thicker rope though and hot glued it in place sort of near the top of putting the thin on to make the handles and then I put the rope around it to make it nice and sturdy. And that did work. And then I'm gonna go through, I'm putting the thicker nautical rope on now, which definitely was a better look. So if I were only using the nautical rope, it would have taken a little less than two pieces of it. I really like these cork coasters on the bottom. I think that that's super cute. Now, anytime I use nautical rope or jute twine, I always take my lighter and I go through and I burn it. So please be careful when you're doing this. Don't burn yourself. Don't catch anything on fire. I made sure that I didn't get the cork with it because I've never put it on cork. I haven't had a need to and I didn't want to catch it on fire. But this is a nice way to just go through and clean up you know, all of those little strings. And I also like the darker color that it kind of gives it. Now going into my stash, I have several different Dollar Tree chalkboard tags. I decided to use the heart one. And I have this white chalkboard marker that I also got from the Dollar Tree. 
and I'm going to write on my tag. I wrote on there, just breathe. I thought that went very well with using eucalyptus. So I'm just going to, you know, add my saying to the to my little chalkboard tag. And as you can see in the background, anytime I'm doing crafts, I always keep my favorite crafters videos kind of playing in the in the background. I feel like it's very important to support the people that I love watching, so I try and keep their videos up anytime I can to give them support. So now I'm going to just make a couple tassels. So for the tassels, I just take some jute twine that I got from the Dollar Tree. I wrap that around my fingers and then I go through and tie a loop through the top of it. And then I take another piece and wrap that around the top. As you can see, I just kind of make a little poof and then wrap that around the top of it. You know, as many times as you want, kind of tie that in place. And then um, I cut the bottom open and I trim that up. And then after I'm done with that, I do also take my lighter to the jute twine because again, I just don't like all those little fuzzy pieces. I like it to be nice and clean. And I also like the kind of color change that it gives it. It gives it a little more of a rustic color when you do this as well as getting rid of all the loose fuzzies. So I'm sitting outside. So if you could hear the um, wind going in the background, I'm on my back porch and it is quite a windy day here in Florida. It's kind of a drizzly Easter, Easter day. So, all right, so I'm making a second tassel doing the same thing, tie my little piece through. And I love making tassels. I think they're great tassels and pom-poms. And then same thing, I'm just gonna go through and clean it up. Get off all the little fuzzies and kind of deepen the color a little bit. And then I take another piece of jute twine and I just put that through one of the handles and I'm going to put on my tassel and then my little chalkboard sign you know however you would like that to to kind of look just kind of gives this vase a nice little finished homey piece there and then after I put that on, I'm gonna just make a nice little bow. And then I will again take my lighter and go through and I'll clean up the bow as well because all of these pieces, every time you cut it, you know, a piece off, it has these little fuzzies and I'm just not really a fan of the fuzzies. So I'm gonna just trim up my bow and then I'll take my lighter to it, clean off all the fuzzies. And I really love how this turned out. It, I think it turned out super, super cute. And then I have this eucalyptus. I believe I got this one at Michael's, either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, of course, when it was on sale though, I always buy it when it's on sale. When it's on sale, it's even cheaper than using a coupon for it. So I've had this in my stash for a while. And these are some nice, big, just really pretty pieces of eucalyptus. I'm going to go through and, you know, cut off. I like tearing the stems apart. I think it, you know, just kind of makes it all look a little bit more, um, you know, more real. It helps it to lay better. And then just kind of cut my stems and there you go.